NanoThings co-founder Tim Williams dives into the extent at which their tags are leveraging the Helium network in the real world. Their proprietary nano tags are paper thin, mechanically flexible, and have no buttons. To date, there are over 80,000 nano tags on the Helium network, and they are adding between 20 and 25,000 each month at today's run rate. Telus Agriculture is one of the most prominent users of these tags. They are a 25 plus billion dollar conglomerate located in Canada with the largest digital food agriculture business in the world. The cold chain portion of that business is being powered and monitored by the Helium Network. <laughs> What is up everybody and welcome back to another video here on the Crypto Compound channel. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you guys are having a great day. Please hit that like and subscribe on the way in. Today's video, we are going to be talking about a very, very interesting application here on the Helium network that is being used by billion dollar companies. This is one of the most interesting use cases I have seen and it was recently featured on the Helium YouTube channel where they interviewed the co-founder here, Tim Williams. He goes through a lot of things about how the company works, who some of their clients are, some of the use cases. We're gonna be talking about a lot of that stuff here today and I'm highlighting this use case in particular and this company or this application in particular because it is very different than other types of applications. And in searching for a platform to leverage their licensing model, they found that Helium was the best network to make that possible. Now, before we jump into the really interesting stuff that Tim is talking about in this interview, I do wanna come over here and highlight recent price action we have been seeing, as we usually do here in the beginning of these videos. As you can see, over the weekend, we did wick higher above this previous support, now resistance line, failing to meet the 50 EMA here, highlighted by the blue line. We wicked up, came back down, and were rejected. We are now just below the $4 level. As I mentioned in previous videos, I would not be surprised for us to come back and retest the low three dollar range as you can see we are losing momentum again here on the macd and volume is extraordinarily low also helium has been underperforming as of recently this is also part of the reason why I want to highlight this use case is because there is so much noise in the crypto space, so much negative sentiment and bearish momentum that it's important to see and dig deep into what these projects are really doing. And this application of the Helium network is something that isn't being talked about in theory. It's a theory. It is something that is actually operating in the real world by real companies trying to solve real problems today. So that brings us here to the Nano Things website. Their main technology or their main product here is the Nano Tag, as we can see here. Now, I will play a quick clip here of Tim introducing the Nano Tags in the interview. So this is it. Super small, super thin, mechanically flexible no buttons anywhere, no antenna sticking out anywhere. All the circuitry is printed inside this teeny tiny little package. The way to activate the tags, you just tear this bottom tab off. As you can see, sort of that uh, indentation, you just tear along the perforated line. That's what actually activates the tag. All the programming, everything else is done remotely. Um, the Helium network. So guys, as you can see, NanoThings has developed this Nano Tag, which is the first of its kind monitoring device that leverages the Helium network to relay very critical and important information to the people deploying them. As we can see here, they are buttonless. They have that quick activation tab that Tim explained, and they are flexible as well. Now guys, a little bit farther down here on the website, they do have a use case section here that these nano tags can be applied to. As you can see, cold chain monitoring, which is one of the examples that Tim gives in the interview that we will go over in just a second. Inventory monitoring, asset tracking, parcel tracking, smart packaging, facility monitoring. So these are all different applications of these nano tags that companies can use and deploy to help them solve unique and specific problems inside of their supply chain 
or factories or warehouses, whatever it might be. Now, if we go down here, this is even more interesting. It is showing how the nano tag is far superior in a lot of ways to other solutions that of course nano things is familiar with as you can see here they show the nano tag and how it ranks in terms of capabilities and different attributes and of course here are other options that companies can look to to try and solve these problems however a lot of these don't hold any weight once you compare them to the nano tag so of course as you can see by this outline and by some of the things that tim says in this interview, this is a real life application that is working right now for real companies solving real problems. So despite what you see a lot of people saying here about the Helium network on different forums or YouTube channels or Reddit threads, there is usage of the Helium network today on the IoT sub-DAO. This is real life stuff that is happening and we should start to see this data really start to compound and reflect in these figures that we see here in the data demand side usage. As we can see right now, we are up 12% over the previous 30 days. And the most recent week is one of the highest in the last three. We might end up being the one of the highest in the last few months here, which would be really good news. Uh, of course, we want to see this data continuously compound and increase. Now I am going to play another clip here of Tim talking about some of the usage that he is experiencing with a lot of their customer base of these nanotags. So despite what some of this helium disparagers are saying, um, <laughs> there are a lot of sensors on the helium network and nano things that is probably in the you know top tier of, of those companies, you know, deploying sensors on the helium network. Um, to date we have over eighty thousand nanotags on the helium network. That's growing by between twenty and twenty five thousand tags per month. And that will be the growth rate for the foreseeable future as we are currently maxed out of manufacturing capacity, uh, but are working diligently to increase that capacity because we have a lot of demand. So guys, as you can see by what Tim explained, there is some serious demand and usage going on with these nanotags and it could be speculated, I can't confirm or deny, but it is very possible that these nanotags are accountable for some of the highest percentages of data usage on the Helium network right now. And of course, with the flexibility of the application, it is possible that the nano things nano tag ends up being one of the highest usages by percentage on the Helium network. Now guys, there are some super interesting case studies and use cases documented here on their website, but I do wanna play a clip of Tim actually explaining one of their largest clients that he is allowed to disclose here of the nano things nano tag. But uh, a, a very large company that uh, I can talk about openly is TELUS. TELUS is a 20 plus billion dollar telecom conglomerate based in Canada. Um, okay. And they're a huge partner of ours. We're actually powering. So they're, they have multiple different business units. The roots again are in, are in telecom, right? I think of them okay. as sort of like the AT&T of, of, of Canada, right? Um, but they've since branched out and have various different um, businesses and they actually have the largest uh, digital food ag business in the world and powering the cold chain portion of that business. So guys, that is Tim outlining the usage of one of their largest clients, which is TELUS Communications here. As we can see, they are almost a $30 billion company with multiple different business units. And as he mentioned, the nano tags are being deployed in their agriculture and consumer goods product line on the cold chain of that business. And as we can see here, they are clearly a real company with real customers providing real value and real products. So this isn't some theoretical usage that could be taking place. This is a real company looking to solve real problems and they are able to use the Helium network to do that. Guys, lastly, there is a very interesting case study here on their website, which is the results of deploying these nano tags and using the Helium network to help this seafood company monitor some of their temperatures on their food deliveries. As we can see, it helped them save two full loads of food after spending $1,600, saving them $400,000 in product from saving those two loads and being able to prove the temperature 
of those loads. This is really, really interesting real world applications of the Helium network. Guys, and lastly, they even do have a little bit about the network that they leverage here. Uh, Helium is listed here and there is a brief explanation, which is really cool. And they go over a little bit about what they like. They highlight the super, super low cost of transmission. And they mention the Helium network is by far the lowest cost lower when network in the world. So guys, if you did not know about this nano tag from nano things, I hope you found this interesting and useful. Any questions or comments you guys might have, please leave them down below. Or if you have other use cases that I have not covered, please put them down below because it is very hard for me to find all of the really interesting and significant ones. But guys, I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching until the end. And of course, stay tuned for us to monitor the usage here on the Helium network as more use cases and solutions are developed and deployed here in the real world. Guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for being here. Please hit that like and subscribe if you have not already. But just like that, this video is over and I'll see you next time.